Now I know I know this is late, but this deserves a review. I can't do this without a review. Welcome to Impact Wrestling Review. Now, honestly, I watched the show on my laptop, and I I fuck it. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the show, and what what can I say? I mean. Cody Rhodes wants to face uh, Mike Bennett next week. Uh, Aaron Rex uh, retain the championship, the grand title. The whole so this wait so the show started started with all the champions in the ring. I'm just waiting for one of them to shut up everyone else, and last year was the guy. Now, when Billy Corgan came out. First of all, what in the hell is he wearing? No, if you're the boss, I don't agree with you wearing shit like that. I'm sorry, that's just me. But where did that come from? Motherfucker wearing some fur coat with a hoodie up like he's a part of a gang something. Like he's in the streets. Bet you never been in the streets. I've been in the streets. Alright, I'm still currently in the streets. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. What what was that? That was just awful. And this theme song is is not good. I'm telling you right now. I'm just sitting there like, am I watching a rock concert or is this TNA? What the fuck? Is, what, what am I watching? Right? So he comes out and he's like honoring the champions. And he's like, all y'all will be defending your championships. Except for the X Division Championship. Because... Of uh, some Team X or Gold, Team X Gold. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, if you can inform me what that what what it is, then I'll then leave your comments below because I don't know what it is at all. But um, yeah. So that happened. Also, begin the show. Last year was like, look, man, I've beaten everybody. I defeated everyone you put in front of me, and and yet you're still making me defend my world title. So then Billy Corgan's like, alright, you will defend your title against three people I've chosen. You get to choose which one. Choose wisely, Lashley. So when that happened, I'm like, okay, so Lashley's gonna fight. I think EC3 might be in that. And later on, I was right, he was in it. I didn't expect Moose, and I did not expect Eddie Edwards. Now, I'm just sitting there like, okay, I feel like he's going to go for Eddie Edwards because he sees Eddie Edwards as an easy threat, right? He doesn't want to face it. I knew, I knew last year was not going to pick Moose, and I knew last year was not going to pick EC3 because he already beat him, so there's no point, right? So, when you pick, when you pick Eddie, Eddie did three suicide dives, but the third one, he hit the, ray, he hit the, 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 the barricade. The steel barricade. But, um, last you tried to go for a spear. Freaking Eddie Edwards hit him with that running strike maneuver. I don't know what it's called. Right? And, for fuck's sake, Eddie Edwards pinned Lashley clean and became the TNA fucking world heavyweight champion. I did not stutter on those words. I'ma repeat what I just said. Eddie Edwards is the new world heavyweight champion. Eddie Edwards pinned Bobby Lashley clean in the middle of the ring and became the world champion. Now, what do I say about that? Two things. Two things I have to say. One. Holy shit! Holy shit! That that's oh, oh, oh my god. Number two. Finally, Lashley has been defeated for the world title. I'm not saying I didn't destroy his title run. I just wanted him to lose it because he held it for so goddamn long. Right? 
just like the Miz. I want him to lose the title. I don't care, you know, that he's he's in the best of his career right now. I want him to lose the title because he's better without the title anyway, right? So, finally, Lashley lost the title. What does this mean? I'm thinking of and it, when I, when he won the title. Not only I was like, holy shit, not only I was like, last you lost, finally, but I also thought, what about Davey Richards? What about his tag team partner? What will happen with the Wolves, the Wolves Nation? What will happen to them? What will happen to the Wolves? Is Davey going to turn on Eddie? Or Eddie get too cocky as champion and turn on his best friend? We gotta wait and see. Let's see how TNA impact wrestling. Hopefully, hopefully they change the entire company if it's true or not, right? And then yeah, everything else on the show. Let's see. Maria trying to run rough shot. Uh, Gail Kim still world ch uh, knockout champion. Maria gonna get her rematch next week, but uh, here's the caveat: if Maria loses. She is fired as the leader of the knockouts. Thank you, Corgan. Seriously, Maria is doing a fantastic job as running the as being the leader of the knockouts. All right, and I don't mean like Josie doing a fantastic job by. You know, actually doing right things for the for the, the division. No, I mean, she's fantastic because she's a bitch. And she's, she's taking advantage in every way she could. I can't wait. I would not be surprised if there's a tag team match. Cody and Brandy Rhodes versus Mike and Maria Canellis Bennett in a mixed tag team match. All right. I will not be surprised if that happens at all. I can't wait. Whew. Uh, what else happened tonight? Uh, oh, one of my favorite segments of the of the entire night. Oh, not only the Hardys uh, retained the World Tag Team, something caught my eye and it was disturbing. I don't care. Or yes, you are married to him, Rebby. You are married to Matt Hardy. You are family, husband, wife. I get that. I love the fact that Hardy's married now. You know, not like, you know, before when he got dumped by Lita. But you know what I mean. I'm, I'm glad that he's doing better for himself. Not just worrying about the past. He's moving towards the future. I like that. Anyways. Rebby took Matt Hardy's... Matt Hardy was bleeding from his mouth. She took her hand. Put it on his... Put her hand on his lips... Or his mouth. And he and she took it like it was fucking war paint. And put it on her cheeks. Like your blood and my blood. And she just rubs it like it's goddamn. Some cream you put on your cheek. What? What was that? <laughs> what, what? What? What was that? That caught me. Some, that, that caught me off guard. I'm just sitting there like. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, that's just nasty. But anyways, favorite segment of the night: EC3 and Eli Drake. Dummy, yeah. Dummy, yeah. Dummy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eli Drake, let me talk to ya. Eli Drake, I swear. But EC3 was just EC3 was serious as all hell, sitting there down in the dumps. Look, I lost my match at Bound for Glory. I'm not going to make no excuses. But I, but EC3, man. EC3 was on fire tonight, I swear. He's just sitting there taking in all the crap. All the crap from Eli Drake. And after EC3 was like, I swear to God, if you press that dummy app button again, I swear, you know what? You know what? I, I, I dare you. I dare you to press the button. I'm on my knees, just like your mother. I beg, beg of you to press the button. Eli Drake was like, look, man, you 
You were given things. I had to scratch and claw when I started in that crappy group, The Rising. I had to scratch and claw to, to get to a level where I'm at now because I'm bound for gold. And what are you? You're higher than me. You're at a higher level than me, EC3. But when it comes to scratching and, claw and clawing and earning things, you're not even on my level. Cut his mic off. The show's over. Like... And that's not an insult. That was just a fact of life. Like, that segment was my favorite segment of the entire night. That was the best segment of the entire show. And after, like I said, in the end, Eddie Edwards wins the world title. Oh my God. I don't know, man. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I, I'm seriously at a loss. It's like James Storm winning the world title in seconds against Kurt Angle all over again years ago. It's like, you had a loss for worse. What can you say? So, uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys, uh, if you watch TNA at all tonight, um, like, do, do you want to, you, if you want to watch it, I'll put the link in the description so you can go check it out yourself. Um, yeah, guys, uh, tonight's show was crazy. Uh. All over the place. So if you guys can't click that like button, click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at boy one two three gym, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. There will be a podcast, seven days podcast, and many more for the weekend. I am out. Oh, later.